from Virgo. I'm going to get to this reading. Let me get the fuck off of here. I just had a shock of the hour. Mm, mm, mm. I instantly got heavy and sleepy. My chest burning and everything. Y'all about to get some fucking revelations. Y'all pop the sun. <coughs> Whatever the fuck is in y'all fifth house and sixth house, look into it. Somebody to be exposed in y'all fifth house and sixth house. <coughs> <coughs> I done looked at my birth chart 110 times. This is just for Virgo sun signs. This only gonna fit with Virgo sun signs. That's what my ancestors told me. Anyway, you're welcome to watch. This is cross watching. <coughs> <coughs> I don't have shit in seven houses. I don't have shit in the 12th house. And I ain't been in shit but mental institutions. Listen to me good. The 12th house rules mental institutions. I've been in mental institutions half my life. That means I wasn't ever supposed to go in there. That means most of the people that I know, 85% of the people that I know ain't shit. It don't matter how I'm related, how I know it, none of this shit. <clears throat> Half of my birth chart is a wheel like this. We got houses, it's split up like a pie. Half of my birth chart is empty. It's nothing in it. Fourth house, fifth house, sixth house, seventh house, eighth house, ninth house, tenth house, or eleventh house, I think. It's like eight. Only thing I got shit in, oh, third house I ain't got shit in. It's third house, fourth house, fifth house, sixth house, seventh house, eighth house, ninth house. I don't think I got that in the 10th or the 11th. Only got shit in. I don't got shit in the second house either. I was looking at this shit like, damn. I got something in the fifth, I got something in the sixth. I don't got nothing in the first. Nothing in the second, nothing in the third, nothing in the fourth, nothing in the fifth, nothing in the fifth. I got something in the fifth and the sixth. I kept saying five and six. I got something in five and six. I don't got nothing in seven, nothing in eight, nothing in nine, nothing in ten, and nothing in fucking eleven. What in the fuck? Look at this shit, y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all. It's going to give y'all a headache. But y'all need to see it because it's relevant. It's a motherfucker. It's going to blow your head off if you really know how to understand your charges a little bit. <coughs> I'm pull up your chart. Look in that circle. Leo rules the fifth house. Virgo rules the sixth house. So outside of the houses, you'll see the symbol of Leo or Virgo. See what's sitting in the house. What signs? The only people for real, I didn't have to get married to anybody. But if I would have had the best relationship, it would have been with a Capricorn. Word is bond. I don't really have nothing else because uh, Capricorn is in my sixth house. This is a house of service. So if I had a man that was in my sixth house that was a Capricorn, I would just be a service to him and wouldn't, he would never bring it up. It would be easy. I just do for him. <clears throat> and they rule, I control IU. So he wouldn't, he wouldn't even know. Even if he was trying to use me, I wouldn't know. You wouldn't know me, but for real. Because I would never bring this shit up. Could he dog me? Yeah, he could. <clears throat> so I damn. I have Leos. Leos should be in my life. Capricorns 
should be in my life. Uh, Libras. Uh, Virgos. Scorpios. And that's it. I think all the rest of the signs are in there. <coughs> Set for life, for real. I mean, I ain't really have to have no children. I could have just been a money getter. And somebody's wife or something would just had somebody I was in the mall. Like an Oprah and Stephanie. I would have been like Oprah. If I would have got, you know, a different set of ink cards. <clears throat> mm -hmm. No children with a statement with that amount of money. Yes. That was supposed to be my wife. If it would have went by my birth chart. Look at that shit. It's going to fuck y'all up. <laughs> Ooh, you better fuck up so bad. It'll show you the signs that's in your life and what they hit for too if they in the fifth or the sixth. If you got a six house man and he ain't shit, oh, he can work you like a dog and you will love it. Second for me, if you get a six house woman, her sign is in your six house. She can throw you work for her for real. Love her. She can she get over on your motherfucking ass. For real. Ooh. Ooh. Emperor in reverse. If I was a Capricorn man that lost me, I don't know if I could live. I ain't even gonna lie. Look at my birth chart. It's like throwing away this. Like that. No okay. cap. Like you wide open. Here go your woman and she will just serve you up like nothing. Ain't nothing to it. All you gotta do is keep walking. If you got a person that self sabotage you throw that type of woman away. That's like throwing away a winning lottery ticket of like a billion dollars. I would be able to, I would be sick. I would be sick as a fucking dog. I'm telling y'all, look into y'all fifth and sixth house. It's gonna show y'all here something purple. So much. Messy, messy, messy. Emperor's in reverse. And messy people. I bet y'all connected to y'all fifth and sixth house. That shit just punched me in my fucking jaw when I just I looked at my birth chart 150 million times. And I wonder why people can't get into my Akashic Records. Ain't shit in that motherfucker. I mean, I mean, for real. You ain't gonna be reading that but clouds like a motherfucker. People be trying to wonder why I'm so happy because of all I've been through. But, I mean, I wasn't supposed to go through it, for real. People just hate me without a cause. And it could be something galactical. It set me up as soon as I touched down. When I was in the hospital, somebody tried to kidnap me as a baby. You know, they put the babies to go get circumcised and check their ears and stuff like that. And they all get put in the room in the beds. Somebody literally tried to kidnap me out of the hospital. So I've always been in some fucking trash. And ain't got shit in my, on my... Like, <laughs> I told people I really saw myself fall off of a baby tree. For real, the <laughs> seven of cups. Oh, wait. <sighs> Wayne of cups. I got witchcraft shit going on. Connected to that shit to a source. Yeah. You got to learn boundaries. You don't be knowing no boundaries. You just be born like a motherfucker. If you don't have somebody to hit you on to what the fuck your bread chart is about. You know what I mean? Baby, you can get taken advantage of so bad. You would be like cursing God. <clears throat> for real. This loyalty. This is what's in y'all fifth and sixth house. Even if it ain't shit in there, y'all, that's even worse. Because it's a house of romance, power of love, creations, investments, gambles, and other games. Dramatic. Do it dramatic. So drama fucking queen. With the trust of a child, fun and romance. Got a bitch, and then a sixth house, 
Ain't shit but the house of service. Your natural placement. Look at who y'all six house. If it ain't nobody, and y'all feel the six house, and y'all stay on bullshit, that mean it's all, it was all a dream. They just did that shit because they, they just evil people. Whoever the fuck they is. I don't know fuck if they ain't your family or not. You know, they just mistreated a human being that didn't have to deal with them for real. Y'all just wasn't aware because y'all looking at it as friends or family. Real talk. <laughs> Bitter. Give y'all anxiety, stress, falsehoods, worry. Use caution and out of touch with their emotions, egoism, releasing the past. I bet y'all release the fuck out there, motherfucker, once y'all really see. Ooh, and y'all been dealing with some emperors in reverse. Looking at fifth and sixth house. I bet you saying it's something about that joke in there, though. Frustrated, impatient, immature, stubborn, state of depressed, resentful, bitter, egoism, law breaking, feelings of inferiority, unsure of self, and haste. That's the motherfuckers that's quick to go in the wrong direction, but slow to go in the right direction. That would be where the Capricorn would mess up with me. Where they would, they should go, they should run in haste towards me. A Capricorn man will run in haste towards me. But how the world set up, he would see it as he moving too fast and going the opposite direction towards something that ain't even about to give him a whole ass headache. A whole ass headache. I'm looking at this shit like, what the fuck? Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Wish fulfillment, Nana Cups. I wonder if some of y'all gonna have a cancer or a Pisces in those places. If y'all love them, that shit gonna work. It will work. <clears throat> That's heaven on earth. If you got a star sign Pisces man, and you got Pisces in your fifth or sixth house, and you're a Virgo son, yeah, that's a lot. For sure. For sure. It's a vibe. Oh, it's a vibe, yeah. Definitely ain't no emperor motherfucking reverse. Definitely ain't no motherfucking emperor in reverse. Ain't that something that they came out straight like that? I was like, what y'all want me to read it? Like, you know, and it came out straight like that. Fifth and sixth house sun card. So they see that something's going to get exposed to Virgo sun or whatever is in their fifth or sixth house. So y'all got to know y'all fifth or sixth house. I'm making y'all learn y'all self. Mm-hmm. This should have been me my whole life. Eight of Cups just walking away. But that's how I walk away from people anyway. My humanness gives me three years, but I ain't seeing nothing longer than that on a relationship side. I'm just not, because people just not, you know. I can really take anybody I wanted, but motherfuckers ain't. Who motherfuckers? <laughs> Baby. Back. Nope. It's a lot. I get hit. I get hit with a oof, like a son. I was like, I was like ODB, y'all. I was like ODB. If I would have had some friends, I'd fuck around. Yeah, hit my damn head on the table and popped them hands. I said, motherfucker. For real. Two of Cups, Ace of Swords. Y'all gonna find out something pertaining to your love life. I'm telling y'all. The truth gonna be revealed to y'all just like it was just revealed to me. Talk about born in the wrong environment. You know, just like, what the fuck? A bunch of what the fucks. Shit. How the fuck I end up in mental hospitals and I ain't got this shit? I'm wearing my motherfucking shirt. And I really feel like 
my Jupiter is in Cancer, but I really feel like my Jupiter should have been in Leo. It never was supposed to be in Cancer. It's too high up in degrees. You know, it's just like, come on. <laughs> you know, half a millisecond I would have been a Jupiter Leo, which I feel like I am. Because I get way more love with Leos than Cancers. Way more. And it always is the fuck out of me because I thought what I saw, Cancer Jupiter, was people that would bring me good luck. None of them did. Not in Cancer, no. Three of Wands in reverse. Yeah, I got played by three. For real, on some real shit. Lost three so called friends. That was Cancer. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Straight like that. Like, what the fuck? And really more than that, like five <clears throat> of people that I knew. Like six. No good luck. But Leos, I do. The aspect is at 29 degrees. I'm supposed to be a Leo Jupiter. And that's just it. My birth time could have been, just say my birth time is 4.30. It could have been 4.30 and 59 seconds when they see it, you know. You see what I'm saying? And they should have just went on here and put it a minute up. Just to keep it you know, on the 100 side. So I would advise my child to do his birth time a minute up and actual birth time. <sighs> Karma. Mm, mm, Y'all about to be sounding, oh, oh my God. Y'all supposed to be like, what the fuck? <sighs> it's going to blow y'all mind. I'm telling you, Virgo. It's going to fucking blow your fucking mind. Even if you don't get it right away, your motherfucking ass gonna get it. Virgo son, man included. Don't go be dumping motherfucking body. And you want to see a dead body? You hear me? Dumping motherfuckers off. And my twin flame was a Capricorn. I didn't even go cap. I did not understand. I did not understand. I don't know if he understood or not. I don't know nothing about him in depth like that. I really don't. It was a quick hit it and quit it situation. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now. Got sworn by muggles and hyenas. How I see it. I'm sick of talking about it because it's nauseating. I was just trying to find, figure out what y'all some of y'all gonna end up figuring out. Why some people affect you differently than other people? Why some people fit better than other people? It all got to do with your fucking birth chart. And with black people, we... They stole so much information from our ancestors. Honey, we don't have a clue. Don't know where we supposed to be. Go where it feels fucked up instead of going where it don't. I mean, I, it's just, it's extensive. Okay. Well, fortune. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Damn, for real, Audrey? Seven of Pentacles. No more hard work, y'all. Ain't gonna have to deal with that shit. One shot, I mean, it's gonna be like an empire, like oh, just like on some on some real shit. And I pray don't none of y'all family watch this, cause I know how it is. But well, baby, might as well light a fucking match and light this bitch up, cause you ain't never coming back no more. Especially your Virgo son. That's why the strip card came out with Meek Mills pointing at his man, his temple. Cause y'all gotta be strong for this reading. Y'all got to be strong to go and see what the fuck their placement going to hit for. The fifth and sixth house. 
games. You get played and act like you love it and don't come up off there, bitch. On the service side. But the motherfucker that's playing games, honey, ain't never heard you. Ain't never saw your feelings bleed. Ain't never gave a fuck, for real. They don't know. They don't know. God damn. I'm hard to put some shit to rock me. This shit got me like, whoa. For real. You gotta think real long and strong about who the fuck. Once you find out your birth chart, I'm telling you, the fifth and sixth house is important for people that's gonna be viewing this. Sun sign, Virgos. If you dealing with a sun sign Virgo and you cross watching, you better tell them getting that fifth or sixth house. If they in a situation where it seems like they can't get out of it, especially with the twin flame shit, if they gonna listen, because these people don't listen. <laughs> Damn, man, y'all gonna do it? Cause I mean. It profits you nothing to see amongst people that's treating you like shit. You don't even have to deal with that. That's the truth of the fucking matter when you go look at your fifth and sixth house for Because we rule by the sixth house. That is a house of service. You will let somebody work you to a fucking pulp. And you will love it. And they won't even know that they hurting you. Or they could know candy shit. And the whole question would be is, is are they worth it? For whatever stressful, anxiety-driven energy they brought to your experience, your life. Okay. This shit make me want to just, I don't even know. I don't even know. Get my baby and get the fuck out of the house. Straight like this. Bitch, this is content. Okay, why the fuck do people fuck up? They always, that's me. This is me all the time. And I'll be saying, why the fuck can't they just come on in? It's just as easy. Now, the motherfuckers that ain't shit, are they gonna come on in like it ain't shit? And I'll be sitting there just like this. Just like this, most of the time. This is how I'll be looking. But I see why. I see why. I just, I'm just a breath of fresh air. The motherfuckers always looking and thinking it's something else. And it ain't. And then it's on a whole motherfucking opportunity. Because one thing I ain't going to do is big. Show me all the same way. Just like that. This ain't never done. This ain't, I ain't got shit in there. I'm a house. Nigga. <laughs> the whole right side facing me of my birth turn. Empty like a motherfucker. Like, what? Don't know you, man. I'm a lucky charm to whoever the fuck. I know that. I know that. But I must be on some hot tamale shit where a motherfucker touch me and get fucked up. Oh, some real shit. Four wines. I stay moving on. Stay moving every five minutes. Honey, sweet as pie. And Sally be getting taken by these type of motherfuckers. Learning all this bullshit to what the devil made him do it. No, bitch. No. No. You did it because you motherfucking wanted to, bitch. And that's it. This shit is overwhelming, Virgo. <sighs> Wealth. Some of y'all placements. Y'all been living in the Page of Pentacles. This is me, my whole life. I know this. Looking at my birth chart, I know this is my destiny. Been supposed to have been. But I had money earlier in my life because I worked. You know, I ain't never wanted for nothing because I made sure I got it for myself and I had no children. So I did live partially, but still compared to what I know I'm supposed to have, I still was in the Page of Pentacles. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's supposed to be an issue. It didn't come up. 
or coins. Ten of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. All fucking coins. And if the person that dropped me, that was the Capricorn with a new battery, he would have been sitting just like this. Right now. This would be me. Him covering down on me. And we got all of this. He ran in the total opposite direction. Towards what? I don't even know. I know I got to change my address, though. Just based off of fucking around with him. But now I see why. I know what was attached to it. He was just attacking the fuck out of me. I don't know what happened to him. But I know what was the fuck happening to me, Virgo. Y'all better go look in that fifth and sixth house. It's going to tell y'all some stories. I'm trying to tell y'all. I know y'all are so fucking excited. If you were real live, Virgo, <laughs> to be able to go and look and see who the fuck you need to get the fuck better of. Because you are a nope. <laughs> Don't shoot the messenger. Inner knowing. Do not allow others to distract you from your true love. I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all. Somebody, oh, honey, be prepared for unexpected change. You see this, huh? He be laughing all the time. That's all Uncle Marv do is laugh. Because he just be so taken back by how shit works out. You know? Funny, right? Like, damn, what they gonna do? <laughs> what they gonna do? Y'all gonna be crossed up between the two of them or some of y'all. Based off of what y'all find out in that fifth and sixth house. Some of y'all may be completely done. Y'all don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? How sort of how I am. Like, <laughs> I got fucked up. And I was a straight up lucky charm. I know it. If y'all got somebody in y'all motherfucking sixth house, y'all that motherfuckers gonna be sure. I'm trying to tell you, stay cool, cause you'll lose your cool. Oh, 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 oh. You will lose your cool. Shit. Let's not play the game. Let's not play the motherfucking game, bitch. Build something that will outlive you. Go where you can. Build something. Motherfucker ready to build? Tell him to come out. And that's it. Ain't nobody got time. Yeah, your bad luck is from your ancestors trying to get your attention. Your attention. <laughs> Some of y'all are shining energies. Fell off baby trees and shit. <laughs> You're entering a season of abundance. Keep your palms open and your thoughts high five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, stay cool. Stay cool. Stay cool. It's <laughs> baby. Day. It's a dog. It's a doggy dog world. Be patient. Everything happens in divine timing. How many times did you be told this? Did somebody ask you? Some of y'all are mystics. Yeah, survival, long travel, shaman, seer, strength, driven. Yeah, people don't understand that. Some of y'all are with somebody that's telling y'all to be patient, but they don't understand that you're a mystic and a shaman. They don't understand birth charting. They don't understand anything. All that they know is that they love you and you need to wait on them no matter what happens. Y'all made this vow and this and this and that, but okay, I understand what you're saying. Even if I don't understand my birth chart to the fullest degree, because it takes you a lifetime to really learn certain shit about your birth chart through astrology, zodiac, all that. Astronomy, even. Bruh, what the fuck you think this is? Bedrock? Hurry the fuck up. The world is crumbling kind of shit. It's dangerous as fuck out here. It doesn't matter whether they're your twin flame, soul flame, soul mate, or whatever. Are they, are they not subdued by women and drugs? Or the penitentiary, for that matter. If you can't find a way, create a path. Exactly. My, my birth chart is really the birth chart of like Pathfinder. Some of y'all shit, I'm telling y'all to go. Breakthrough. Disguised as a tower. Be strong. 
Some people couldn't understand me as a reader. You get it now. Ain't no motherfucking tower. I'm a tower. I'm disguised as a tower, but I'm a breakthrough. Oh, chicken. So you can quit bullshit and quit fucking off because come on, we got to get to the heart of some shit because, honey, ain't nobody about to keep on with this Hollywood shuffle. Okay? Let's get to the heart of who the fuck we need to get rid of and who we need to keep. Where we going? What we building? What we looking at? Who we dumping off? Who needs to shut the fuck up, candy shit? And stay out of your business, candy shit. They can think what they want to. I ain't never gave a fuck. As bad as I've been treated this lifetime by every human being I ever fucking met. I ain't even Catholic. Every fucking human being I've ever met. Compared to how I I've treated them. I'm just being honest. To my mother and my father, okay? You don't get no my grandparents, those I didn't meet, well of course. You know what I'm saying? I didn't meet them. The ones I did didn't do nothing to me. They wouldn't, the, you know, I mean, I'm gonna be like, oh my God, I love them so much. They did me so good. They didn't do me wrong. And they didn't do me so, so good either. But it was a lot of people too. So I ain't looking at them. I ain't looking at my great parents or my grandparents. I'm trying to tell y'all. Just go, go, go ahead. Don't take a gander and do the doggy fries. Do the doggy. This is in order to not, you know, flip out. I'm trying to tell you how to make this shit like this, y'all. Looking straight like a queen of swords. Like, wow. Everybody I know this shit, basically. That's scary. Okay, well, I guess I'll take a long walk around the park before dark. Around the spot where I can spark, you know, <laughs> by myself like a motherfucking baby. That bird church just slapped me. I done looked at my bird church. I done drew it. I done did the aspect. Oh, man. When shit be, when it be ready, when your ancestors be ready to hit you with it on Milwaukee, baby. I'm looking just like my side. So be careful with this word, honey, because it is weighty. I'm trying to tell you that today, but it ain't going to be one shoot, you know what I'm saying? Because Virgos, one thing we don't have a problem with is kissing motherfuckers in the back once we know they don't, you know. Oh, that's what you're doing? You using me. Oh, wow. I really like you. But fuck you too, you know? All right, Virgo, if you're feeling the vibe, please like, share, and subscribe. Let them like.